There are plenty of patterns to choose from in pattern stamps. But if you want to create your own, it's possible to create your own. When you create a pattern, it can be used as a pattern stamp, a pattern fill, a pattern run, or a carving stamp. To make it easier to create a pattern, first change to the metric measurement system. For many types of patterns that you will create, it is also helpful to have the grid activated. So right click on show grid and you can change the properties in any way that will help you. I'm going to place a dot by show grid. I want snap to grid checked and I'm going to change the horizontal and the vertical grid spacing to three millimeters and then click OK. This makes a tiny grid for developing our stitches, but you'll want to zoom into an area on the screen. Now, before digitizing the pattern, it's important to think how the design will stitch out. Think about how the stitch will start and how it will stop. You don't want to create a jump stitch in between two of the stitches, so it's important that the stitch starts and stops on the same vertical line. I'll select the Open Object Tool in the Digitize Toolbox, and I want a single outline, and then I'm going to digitize a pattern. So I'm going to just click, and Snap to Grid will make the lines at the grid intersections turn colors. And I'm going to go out, and then in, and back out, and back in and then over part way and back and over and back and then into a corner, back in the center, out to a corner, back in the center. And I want to end my stitch on the same vertical line that I started. Then I press enter. You'll press escape to deselect the open object tool and then select your design. Go to Settings and Create Pattern. And to create your new folder, you'll click on Create, and we're going to name this Custom Stamp and click OK. Then I'll name my stamp. I'll call this pattern Snowflake and click OK. Now notice down in the status bar, it says to enter the start point of the reference line. So I'm going to tell the software how I want this stitch to be formed. I'll click at the start and then the status bar wants the end point and I will click at the end of the stitch. I get a confirmation that my stamp was created and I click OK. I can delete this star because I now have access it to this stamp in my pattern stamp. There it is under my custom stamp. I select it, go OK, and I can add my stamp. And it works the same way as the any of the other stamps. If I hold the shift key down, I can change the size of my star. You'll press escape to get rid of the stamp. Now I can also access this through my pattern run. And if I right click on pattern run and go into the select, I'll find my custom stamp. I'll click on that, click OK and OK again. And now with the open object tool, I can create a line with two clicks and an enter. And I get this type of design. I'll right click on pattern, click on select, find my custom stamp, select it, click OK and OK again. I'll select the rectangle and click and create a rectangle that is filled with my stamp. 